Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I've started a mixture of paint and I just did it all on video and then realized that I had music playing in the background and I don't do music in the background because then you have copyright infringement stuff going on. So I had to start over again. So I'm pouring on a 10 inch wood base and I've got both sides primed and sealed because with wood it will warp very easily. So I've got push pins on the bottom and this is going to be the back of my clock so I'll be painting it black and you'll never see those pin holes once I get it painted black. But this is a 10 inch thing and it's wood pre-primed, ready to go, sanded. I'm using white, Artist Loft white flow acrylic. I have a navy mixture that I've mixed up on my own. I don't know what it's going to look like when it comes out of the bottle. And then I made my color with Master's Touch Gray Purple and Creative Inspiration Sky Blue. So between the two of them I came up with this color which is kind of the Chapel Hill UNC basketball team. UNC Chapel Hill Carolina Blue. This is going to be a Carolina UNC Chapel Hill clock. So I'm going to do the pour and let it dry for a few days and then next week I will put a UNC emblem on it to make it have that college logo on it. Here is the logo that I'll use, which is something I printed out from Google. I just got the UNC logo from Google and made a copy, cut it out, and put wide, clear Packers tape on it and then cut around it so that it made it almost like a stencil. And um, I will do another video to show you how I embellish it, but this was like a canvas that I did with the UNC logo. So that UNC logo will go here in the center and then I'll put the, the, uh, the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9 numbers and the hands and the mechanism in the middle. And of course put a nice glossy varnish coat on top of it. So I mixed up my color. I put a little bit of the Artist Loft white into it to get it a little softer in color because it was too deep. Then I added 1 to 1 ratio of Oetrol Easy Flow which is exactly like Floetrol. But Oetrol is a European company. They give me free product to demo and I actually prefer their product over Floetrol. It has less fluggers in it. It's a little better on self-leveling and a little bit more of a satin finish, but it is more cost prohibitive and harder to get. You can only get it from OetrolUSA.com or on Amazon. And then I was saying that I was trying to decide between silicone and OGX and I went with the OGX coconut milk which I put into a dropper bottle. But here's what the bottle looks like. It's OGX coconut milk anti-breakage serum. It's a very specific product. You can't just use any product and um, it has dimethicone as the first or second ingredient in it and that's key for nice big juicy cells. So. I'm going to, and I mixed a, a navy blue myself in a bottle that I've had for quite a while, so I don't even know what I use, but I probably used a deep blue, probably added a little bit of black and purple to it to get a deep navy blue. I've got my Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic mixed one to one, all that's one to one. Then I, then I look at my chart on my phone, which is also in my files section of the Facebook group that's, I have a page with Facebook group members in it and there's all kinds of uh, files and charts and things like that. And so a 10 inch painting requires 3 ounces of paint. This is a 10 inch circle so I really don't need more than 3 ounces which is a bathroom cup size. So. I guess I'll just pour right into this because I don't really need that much. This is also a Arteza 12 inch canvas panel that still has the plastic on it 
that's an easy way to pour your leftovers and they dry nice and smooth and they're on plastic and you can take them off the plastic and use them for jewelry skins, acrylic skins for jewelry. So I can even pour on this side as well and let that dry. <clears throat> so that's why I wanted, I think I would, I'm going to, no, no, I'll still do the three ounce cup. So this does have a drop of OGX in it. The blue probably has silicone in it. I'm not putting a lot of navy, but I do want some. And I can tell that navy has um, maybe like a Prussian blue or something. It's a kind of a turquoisey color. You can tell when it's added to the other colors. But see all the cells already? And I meant to close up this hole. Let me do that real quick. Some people use putty and that, I thought that's a great idea, but I don't have any yet. I keep forgetting to get it. So I just take a piece of masking tape make it into a little blob to get it down into the hole and that will you know keep your paint from running through that hole and losing your paint so I'll just take it and push it around and push it down in there that way you, you don't lose your paint through the hole in the middle so now Flip this cup. This is so much fun. This is always the best part, is just waiting for the magic to happen. I could put a little white around it. I don't really need it. It just kind of helps that paint move around at first, but there's going to be plenty of paint. The other thing, too, is you know, just to make sure that your sides are covered. That's always a good thing. I could even take my blue that I mixed up and put some blue around the edge. You know, I could literally take my blue and just, you know, put a little around the edges. Just while I'm waiting for that paint to kind of sift down in that cu uh, cup a little bit. So, and I'm also painting on my big table, but I have a puppy tray liner that is the black part that comes from Amazon and it's in my Amazon recommendations link and it's plastic and you put it in the bottom of a dog kennel and so it's great for catching all your drips and things and then I have a puppy liner, the, uh, the disposable kind underneath. And if you put the plastic side up, it also is great for catching drips and when it dries, it'll peel off. So the key to me for good cells, especially with OGX, is to just let it be, just let it sit for a few minutes. And the cells will kind of grow on their own. You can take a torch and heat. It kind of pops any air bubbles, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really make cells. It just pops the air bubbles typically for me. Or sometimes it puts white spots all over. So that's why it's not that big of a deal if you use the heat gun or the torch either way. And because the navy blue had silicone in it, which would be smaller cells because it's been in a squeeze bottle, that it's making my cells smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and tilt and see what happens.
So right now I'm just stretching it out. So I want some of this down here. So I'm going to let this side drift off a little bit. And let these deeper cells right here stretch out. And I'll use the paint that's dripping to cover the edges. I'm going to let it go this way a little bit. So I probably could have used a little bit more of the navy and so I'm thinking but I may put a little navy in this cup, a little bit more of the Carolina blue. I'm going to see if I can get any more of that navy color to kind of drift out. So that helped here and a little bit there. And maybe what I'll do is put a little navy here and here. Take my butter knife. Just kind of swish it a little bit. So kind of come up through here and swish it. Maybe through here a little bit. And that brings out those cells. And then you can stretch them a little bit. So this area is larger. I'm going to take my card. So when you, did, when you do swipes like that, it's going to be smaller cells as opposed to doing it in the cup where the, the cells come out between the different colors and they have a chance to get larger and stretch more. See if I can stretch it back a little bit this way. So 
So I think I'm pretty content with that. It doesn't have a ton of white. It has some. And I've got that navy kind of here and there. I'm going to put just a little dip of white here. Maybe put a little drop of the navy here. Scrape up some of this blue and just see what happens. That's going to be it for the cells. So I think that's good. I'm finished. And the other thing with the circle too, and you know, any kind of canvas really, is um, if you can avoid the drips piling up on the bottom. I meant to tape the bottom and I totally forgot. But it's going to be painted black anyway. I always paint the backs of my clocks black. But just so there's no heavy drips that pull around the edges. But that's pretty much I done one. And then I'll do the UNC in the dark navy, almost black color. So I'm going to put this aside to dry. So I'm going to play with another little bit of this color. Put some uh, this Carolina blue and that navy. And maybe what would be pretty? Some of this desert turquoise color squirted in there. Maybe a little lime green. This is where I like to play. And I'll put in a little bit of white. So I've got me a cup here. And I'm going to use this plastic that's on this canvas. Beautiful cup. The other thing too is my hands got have paint on them, so when I take my gloves off, I got to clean the other side of the plastic because I'm probably putting fingerprints on the stuff I poured on the other side. So I'm just going to tilt this some, um, and I like these colors already. So this will make maybe some great skins for jewelry. I know what would have been pretty with it, an ultra, the ultra blue deep. That would be pretty. I may have to do one more. One more. Got to. So, again, the navy. A little Carolina blue. Turquoise. So this ultra blue deep, which is light, kind of like an ultramarine, it's a beautiful color. And I'll throw in some of this emerald green color. That'll be pretty too. And I've got my top and I'll just put that on there and use it again for an, on another day. So here we go.
pretty pretty Yeah, that blue and emerald color just really are gorgeous together. So I'm stretching both piles at one time. I'm trying to be careful and not lose the prettiness of the other one too. That's really pretty. So I'm going to take this, I do have some fingerprints underneath on top of the paint that I already poured, so I'm just going to go under and wipe them off. Then I'll take this and put it aside to dry. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. T check out the links below the video and if you uh, want to join me there, Facebook, website, Instagram, PayPal and Patreon if you'd like to make a donation. It's always welcome. I realized I didn't have all my lights on. <laughs> um, but please follow me on my journey and uh, come find me on Facebook and places like that so we can connect on a deeper level. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.